Hello again, a little bit late because it was nothing to report. The same old projects are uh, running. A, B, amplifier up on the roof. Okay, we'll talk about this in a second. And uh, since my last video, of course, I'm still amazed by this uh, ROI calculator. The network now it's uh, presenting on Explorer page. It sounds, it feels like a kind of uh, crying in despair, you know, to keep the people, you know, still buy some hot spots and do the business with us because we're going to return your investment and, and I don't know, and something like this. Anyway, all I have to say that my hotspot, the only one I have, and I don't intend to buy anything or any other devices anyway, it was dead for two days, but absolutely dead. It was just like stuck, you know. Now, my first return of investment term was like nine months. Now it was jumping at 11 months. Okay, it doesn't really matter. You know, the most important thing, I have fun. So it's not a matter of money, you know, doing all this helium stuff. And I may say, I learn a lot about antennas and about amplifiers and about filters and about, you know, all kinds of really nice things. And uh, that's the meaning of being a hobbyist, you know, to learn, to adapt, to experiment. Okay, for the beginning, if you remember, I started an experiment about seeing how much a helium hotspot, in my case, a Heltec hotspot it needs for a proper work. I'm talking about the energy consumption here. And this is the result. Yeah, I think you can see it. 74 hours, we've been wasting 186 watts. I really mean wasting because <laughs> there was no income for me in this period. Let me have my, uh, I don't know, it's so funny. I'm always using this calculator. I have a calculator in front of me. <laughs> it's, that's so funny. So, 74 hours divided by 24. That means, okay, let's say three days. In three days, 186, 186 watts divided by three days, 62 watts per day. I don't know. It's up to you to say uh, if it's worth it or not. I don't think it's such a big uh, waste of power. 63 watts per day. And that means divided by 24, like 2.58 watts per hour. That's okay. Okay, so this was number one. Now, about the AB amplifier here. It's still under uh, test. This is a new one. I just took off the, the metal shield to start looking, you know, and I'm still trying to understand the schematic. And of course it needs to, I need to take off the connectors and uh, have some others. ZP amplifier, so far it's working great. I got some of this uh, installed to some friends and they are really delighted about the way this little guy is behaving and their income is up a few percents we didn't do any mathematics yet but it's looking like it's working okay so this is the, the old uh, filter uh, the, the old design I may say very solid with a metallic shield and uh, case you know and okay and now I developed a new one with better results, in fact. Look here. And even smaller. This is based on a PCB. I'm taking orders, by the way. And you can find this on eBay. And of course, pigtails too. Filters on the pigtails. They are 15 centimeters long, by the way. What else we got here? Okay. I think that's it for the hardware. And let's go to have a look at my beacons and witnessing and stuff like this. So like I said, my miner was dead for almost three days. So it's nothing spectacular here to report. Just a few beacons i don't know what was happening here but uh, i had good results before 
with the AB IoT amplifier. I had a really nice uh, result here on uh, 9th of April, minus 72, plus 7.8 noise ratio. Very good. But look here, and it was today, it's almost half. I don't know what's happening. Maybe they changed the antenna or something. Dragon. So far, I can see numbers are a little bit better than uh, with uh, SPF 5192 or 89 amplifier. Just a little bit better. Okay. Next. Start the grade. And here also I can see a really nice improvement of the numbers with AB868. The latest amplifier, I have it on the roof. And Baboon, obviously, obviously better numbers. I don't know what is here, but it's, it's looking very good with AB868. So the amplifier is working great. Uh, what else? 11. Here we go. Better numbers. The amplifier is working. It's clearly to see that. This one gives me invalid all the time. But look at the numbers. 59 with 10.2 with the latest AB amplifier on the roof. Uh, once more. Yeah, Orca. Look here, minus 109, better. So let's have a remember, these numbers up here, it was the first week, just the antenna and the amplifier, no filters, nothing. And we got these numbers. In week four, I used my mooded amplifier. I mean, the amplifier uh, CPF, 5189 with a soft filter inside. Good results, isn't that? 1.1 freeze and something. And the last one is with the AB amplifier connected after a filter. So I'm using a filter now. There is a filter too. Filter, filter it, of course. RSSI is better, but the noise, I don't know. But I can say, I can say that the filter is working. Okay, do I have one more? No, that was all. But like I said, half of the week my hotspot was absolutely dead. Nothing else to say. Now, I'm testing something new. So the new text, the, the new test starting from today. This is the first. Oh no, let's start it from tomorrow, Sunday. Okay, uh, now I have uh, mine... Uh, my own build antenna on the roof. Let me see where is that. The one I built from uh, LRM cable. Yeah, this one here. Okay, so this antenna is on the top of the house, connected to AB amplifier and through a filter like this. So this will be my next test for one week, starting with tomorrow. 17th of uh, April and uh, last for one week. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I'm uh, waiting your comments. Please like, please subscribe. Of course, don't forget to have fun as long as we are still uh, involved in this hell tech. I mean, in this helium uh, mining or something. I, I don't feel like fun anymore, but there are still a lot of, let's call it happy days. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.